What's up everybody, Dread back at it again with another video. Today we got a bit of uh, breaking news. The Ready or Not modded Discord server has been deleted. Know your eyes don't deceive you, it has been deleted. And without any prior notice, it just up and vanished. Why is this significant? Well, it was a server with over 30k people in it that just went up and smoked. And if you're wondering what happened, well, we're still trying to figure that one out. But it all starts and stops with the person who was in charge of it. And that was LudeSCP, who just randomly without saying anything, deleted the server. When asked why Lude did it, according to Lude, there was apparently six people that Lude was talking to, and none of them wanted the server to stay, according to Lude. I honestly don't believe this, but to be fair, I really wasn't in that conversation, so I honestly don't know what happened. And how six random individuals have more say over 30,000 just really doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I don't think there's anybody out here that actually wanted this server to go away. Like, I don't know of anybody that really hates mods, unless there are people that just don't like games to be tampered with at all, or, or maybe the developer of that game themselves but the developers of ready or not actually reached out to lewd saying very sad that the modded or not server is deleted maybe you could have transferred ownership to someone else or even us there were a lot of people in there who liked to share and talk about mods and stuff so why'd you do it and lewd responded with clearly people didn't want it and ali responded with really ali's just as flabbergasted as i am and lewd responded with yes ali fired back with find that hard to believe but okay and they just left it at that a lot of people were telling me that lewd was actually really toxic but before the whole deletion went down like they were sending me like multiple screenshots of lewd not exactly being a nice person but i'm not really sure if lewd is just trolling here or actually being toxic i've heard like a bunch of theories like this person apparently has like a lot of mood swings or possibly has like a disability or a bipolar disorder i don't know this person personally I've never actually talked to lewd like as if we're friends like i've, I've talked to lewd before to try and get some information on mods and stuff but i didn't know lewd personally maybe a little bit when lewd was like really shitting on zero hour like really unwarranted shitting on zero hour or the time when lewd was really defending void interactive when it was unnecessary like void at the time really deserved a scolding more than defending those are like the only times when we really talked so i can't say for sure what this person is really like one of my subscribers sent me a screenshot that said that this screenshot actually describes this person the best right here this is lewd's second account by the way like if you have actually had conversations with this person you should tell me down in the comments let me no. but overall i think that this whole situation is freaking ridiculous like six people have the say out of 30 thousand that's ridiculous okay well if you don't want the server anymore you could have just given it to the developers like ali would have accepted it automatically because a lot of the developers from ready or not are actually former mods i'm pretty sure they would have gladly accepted it but in a long conversation that i will post in the comment section or description that you can read lude claims that lude doesn't know how to freaking transfer ownership to someone else which is a feature in discord that you can do i've actually done that before i had a subscriber named yuki who made the discord server for me and transferred it over to me when he was done it's actually fairly simple to do and it kind of surprises me as someone who has data mined the game created a server on discord and modded multiple things into ready or not but doesn't seem to know how to transfer ownership of a server i don't know it just doesn't fit doesn't sound right to me something's fishy but okay let's just say i accept your logic that you just don't know how to transfer a server from someone to another what's your next option going nuclear shouldn't be your next option the next option should be to talk to the community tell them that you don't want to own the server anymore i'm sure that there's plenty of people in that server of 30,000 that would have definitely liked to take it over i really have to wonder if lude actually talked with uh the other person that was in charge matthew i think his name was i really gotta get in touch with that guy did you have any say in the deletion nope was it a surprise to you 100 percent. i truly don't know why mallow deleted it besides there were six people in her dms complaining or something like that did those six people People, like really get to lewd i feel like lewd should just release those damn dms to see what they said or to see if they actually even exist and on top of that there are a lot of people that were good people inside of that server that were actually making fun mods and good mods like there were people that made that food wall remake mod from swap 4 and even unlocked one of the mods for the nightclub that's behind uh the dev walls at the moment or actually i'm not really sure if that's a mod or not i saw a mod where you could actually go into the game as a clone trooper it was a bunch of like anime shit but you get the point a lot of the progress that was in that server just got completely wiped out and a lot of people right now are trying to save what they can but a majority of it is just gone now lost history
history. People are gonna have to start over from scratch, and that really sucks. I honestly don't know what Lude was thinking with this. Like, that was a big server, and just to, like, let it go like that. Like, there was even developers inside of there. I remember talking to Grunter. I think I even have a couple of screenshots of our conversation. I don't know where I put them. But yeah, Grunter was definitely in there, I remember. But yeah, the people that were in the server are trying to pick up the pieces. They created a new Discord server for you guys to join. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to either mod or, you know, help them try to recover fragments of what's left of the freaking mods. And uh, yeah, that was a little bit of Red or Not drama. I haven't had some of that in a while. I think the last drama that I had with this game was like when Desperation kicked in three years ago. <laughs> well, it sucks that this happened, but hopefully we can move past this. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.